All right, everyone, welcome back to the Disc Golf Experience YouTube channel. I keep saying I'm about done with my trades and purchases, but I'm I am truly getting very close. I need um I think I got my last black. Got my last blue and red, those are done. Um I think I'm down to five basket cases needed. This was um I don't know if I made a mistake, but I at some point checked the Missy Gannon Timeless off my list. And then when I went to look through my Timeless collection, she wasn't there. So we got number 21 out of 50, Missy Gannon Timeless. Um, so yeah, I had to, I either had to get a, a backup or, um, I don't know. I don't know what I did, but I did something wrong. So that then I'm only waiting on the the one that seems to be missing uh, from the timeless was Holly Finley and then Scott Stokely. So technically, I have all that were originally available. So I'll have to figure that out once Ryan kind of announces what's uh, what's going on there. Um, I got the last of my relics except for Stokely. I got all the reflections. I got all of the Iconics autos except for this gentleman, Isaac Robinson. I believe it's, um, I believe it is another situation like the Holly Finley. I have not seen one come up. But here I got two Iconics, Iconics Gold, Isaac, and then the last reflections I needed was the Kevin Jones, Luke Humphreys. Uh, I need about, six or seven classics golds couple well after I opened these um, there were a few of my set needs in these trades so here's another classics gold I think I needed for the set gunk on it. Wow, I've not had painter's tape or masking tape leave residue before. Oh well. No big deal. There we go. Classic Scott Stokely. 10 out of 25. Um, what else is there? Autos. I have all oh, of that. Is, the Iconics autos, so I don't have the Isaac Robinson, the three of the multiplayer cards. One was the five person with Kenny. Um, one was, I think, a three person with Terry Miller and Ike. And maybe Ian or Earhart. I'm not sure which one that was. And a third multiplayer card. I think there might have been one more, but I think, again, that's a situation where all of those were something happened in the process. So I'm just waiting for that update uh, to figure out what... I'm, I'm so... I'm, bottom line is I'm so close that the... the toughest set that I probably, I don't know if I will ever finish, is the Royalty. I've got 8 out of the 18 I think there are. Um, they're numbered to 19, but there's no number 1, so I think there's 18 of those. I've got 8 of them. Um, just seems like people want more than 
they're going for, and I'm pretty much the person that's bought most of them. So I'm not going to waver from my price because I've been the only one buying them for the most part. So, um, but anyways, I, I'm close there. I here we have Aaron Gossage Classics Gold, twenty one out of twenty five. I don't remember if I needed that for the set or if that's for my rookie collection. Um, and then lastly, the probably the most difficult um, will be the Artifacts Golds. I have the Steady Ed, which I paid partial trade, partial purchase. Paid more, than, more for it than I thought I would. But in the end, I also kind of saw it as... If I'm going to have only one, that's the one I want to have. Um, I like the Yuli. I like the Heimberg. But I, I just like the Steady Ed stuff, as a lot of people do from the set. Um, so, anyways, I know there's no auto on it, but um, that's all right. Whoa, this is sticky inside. What is that made out of? It's like painted. Um, so I bought it, and then I still have the, all my, oh, it must have fell off the top. I still have all my Brixton gold packs to do, which is coming soon, but you can see, even see in here, I can feel it, the square, so I know I have another one. I just don't know who it is. I don't know if I want to open it. Um, <laughs> I was kind of waiting to... Maybe so. This is like coated with paint or rubber or something. That is interesting. I wonder if that was by design so that it can't slip. Not sure. Um, sorry, I'm kind of rambling at the same time. Uh, yeah, so that if, even if that's not steady ed in that gold pack, I've got two of the six, but they seem to be going for a lot uh here's the last black i think i needed cat merch out of 25 brian schweberger classics gold uh 17 of 25 we got Haley king basket case 15 out of 15 and a big one simon basket case 5 out of 15 Right out of the sleeve. Um, so yeah, that's where my debate is. I truly, I've been waiting on the, on opening the golds for this specific reason of wanting to make as many deals as I could, trades, whatnot, to see what I could get before I had to open any of the golds. And I know it's taken me a lot longer to get there than I thought. Uh, these trades are, I'm shocked at how many trades I'm making. So it made it even harder. Um, if I couldn't have made so many trades, I probably would have started opening the golds a lot earlier. But I, I was shocked at how many people were willing to wheel a deal and move some big cards and get some big cards, you know, depending on who you were. The trades... We're big names going one way sometimes and big names going the other way for, for more rare cards. Uh, it's just been amazing, the community that both on the Brixton page and also the Disc Golf Trading Card Collector page on Facebook. It's a little less active than the Discord, but um, and a lot of people are the same, but ultimately there are people that are only on one or the other. So I'm... I'm floored by the amount of people that have made trades with me, and it's awesome. They, A lot of people really want to see me get, you know, as much of this set as I can, as, as I've advertised for a long time. That, that was my goal, was to get as much as I can. Um, I'm doing more than I originally intended to do, so, because it's been so easy to trade. But, uh, so that's the story behind the gold packs. Um, I actually traded some 
unopened boxes because the person that I was trading with only wanted really one of ones and I didn't have any or I only have one and it's not really for trade um, so I traded some unopened stuff for some pretty big cards in fact I think that was the last thing I just opened with the Simon basket case um, or no, this, that was a trade after the fact, but I did make a trade with him over some of that stuff. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. I, I just, I want to get these sets done. If you know anyone out there, I keep asking everybody, you know, that I see doing an opening, you want to trade? Like I know Simon had a card I needed. And he really wasn't interested in trading. Garrett Gerthy, I just asked. Um, I may end up buying that one from him. Because um, he had a card that I wanted. And I don't mind buying. It's not a problem. Um, but with so much, I have so much stuff to trade. If anyone, if I have anything anyone wants, like, I'm less concerned about value as I am about completing my sets so I don't mind giving you a better deal just to get one of the last cards I need so keep that in mind um sorry that worked really well getting the smudges off I gotta do it on here too but here we have Chris Dickerson black uh so Dickerson and Merch were the last two I needed there uh, for the black set, so that's awesome. Um, all these classics gold, there's rookies, there's autos. Okay, um, then little tape, little uh, so it works like. Tape removes tape. <laughs> sticky removes sticky. These are great lessons you can learn on this YouTube channel, I'm telling you. Man, trade secrets I've developed over the years. I'm kidding. They're really not a big deal. Uh, here we have Al Mondejano. Classics Gold. 10 or 20? I cannot read that number. 10. 10 out of 25. And Coriolis. Classics Gold. 3 out of 25. So we're working away on that Classics Gold set in these trades. These, I believe, either one was a trade and one was a purchase. Or they were both purchases from a guy that I trade with. <laughs> uh, I don't always pay attention on eBay when I see something I need. Uh, as to who's selling it, I should should do more communication. But sometimes it's nice to just place a bid and be done with it. And win, win. So this was just a little. I thought it was decent value, so I went for it to use for trade bait. We have a Natalie Ryan black out of twenty-five, Philo Brathwaite black out of twenty-five, Mason Ford black out of twenty-five. Paul Ulibarri, black out of 25, and Ella Hansen, black out of 25. So that was just a, a way to get some trade bait. I didn't need any of those for my set. And last, oh, did I already open that one? I did. I did so that was it so that was the end of the mail call um hit me up if you have some classics gold some basket case and royalty and any artifacts golds other than steady ed that's what i'm going for right now uh, once I, for sure, I'm super busy. I've got tournaments coming up, so I, I, 
Um, I don't want to make a promise, but I want to verify if I'm able to do YouTube live. Um, I started to set it up the other day, but ran out of time. I, ha I have to do it on my, uh, my laptop as opposed to just my regular phone recording. So um, I think I'm not positive on that, but I'd have to do more research. So the, the point in me that I'm trying to get across is I don't want to guarantee that I'm going to get to the gold packs in two weeks because I do have tournaments coming up that I run. Uh, I facilitate two weeks in a row. So this week I have some time and I also have my other business kind of accounting work that I have to get done before I run those tournaments because I don't have any time after I run the tournaments to do it. So um, anyways, it I'll say for sure by the end of October, I will be doing the video. I want to do it live if uh, YouTube will let me. Otherwise, I'll do the two phone system where I'm recording for for YouTube here, and then I use my phone, uh, car phone um, holder to do it live on Facebook because I know there's a bunch of people that want to see what I get. Um, my bottom line is I'm trying to get one of each one of one type, and the only one I have currently is a Masterpiece Holly Finley Auto. Um, I believe that's timeless. Yes, that's the timeless masterpiece. So I think there's six or seven other one of ones that I want to get. Um, and then I'd be done. And then the rest I can do whatever with. Trade them, sell them, do some gold pack breaks where you buy into the gold packs. I don't really know yet. Uh, and then once I'm kind of done with all that, uh... Hopefully we've got some idea of what's coming next on the horizon for Brixton. I know I don't want to put too much pressure on Ryan. He's got a lot going on. But I think a lot of people are interested to see what's next. Uh, if the Golden Air is not coming, you know, with every year, uh, what's on tap for uh, the next set. So we won't see the DGPT stuff for a while. Um, but this is about the time last year couple weeks ago when we ordered the golden era so um we'll see please like share and subscribe on youtube as you see fit leave a comment if you want to make some trades hit me up on social media you can find me at uh, mike harrington or the disc golf experience on facebook uh, you can find me at the disc golf experience on instagram and on the brixton discord i am now dgx disc golf experience uh, they had a change of the naming systems, so I changed my name to my business name just to make it um, easier for people to find me that know, you know, that I'm doing everything as the Disc Golf Experience, um, even though some of it is personal, like all my cards are personal. Uh, I'm not doing these for the business, they're doing them for me. So, but anyways, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Get out and throw.